I've done my crystallization and I've been letting my crystals grow very slowly in an ice bath and I see there's some really big beautiful shiny crystals so it looks real good so now I need to collect my crystals and what we usually use for that is a Buchner funnel to do a vacuum filtration so a Buchner funnel looks something like this and uh, we want a filter paper that fits exactly over all of the holes in the Buchner funnel but that doesn't reach the edges so we don't want it to curl up it should lie flat on the bottom and I'm going to wet it with just a little bit of ice cold solvent and that way none of my uh, crystals can slip past the filter paper now I have this set up to a water aspirator to draw a vacuum and let me show you how the water aspirator works okay we use a, a filter flask like this and the water aspirator is simply a takeoff arm from a, from a faucet and when we turn the water on full blast cold water it's going to draw air in with the water and create a suction here so we can take a look at this I can hear it rushing through here and when I place my hand over it I can feel it getting sucked down onto the filter okay now when I'm done filtering this is going to let me filter my crystals very rapidly when I'm done filtering I want to make sure I break the vacuum before I turn off the water okay we never want to turn off our vacuum source while it's still under vacuum or uh, what will happen is water will be drawn up into the flask let's see if that might happen we're doing our filtration we're letting air come past through the crystals for a while to let them dry and then when we're done if we accidentally just turn off the water what will happen is water can get drawn up here and we'll end up filling in here okay so what we want to do is we want to use a trap in between the water aspirator and our filter flask okay this simply um, has a space where if water does get drawn or if accidentally this gets too full and spills out it will get trapped into a waste bottle rather than going down the sink or having water come and contaminate our, our filtrate okay it also has a clamp here so we can release the vacuum at this point if we're having difficulty releasing it at the Buchner funnel okay so let's try and filter our crystals now we'll start we'll have it nice and fast okay this is already a little wet and we can use a spatula to help transfer our crystals onto the filter paper and you, see, you can see because of the it's a vacuum filtration the solvent is is getting drawn through very very quickly and uh, compared to a gravity filtration where we have to wait quite a while for the filtration to take place okay and now the other nice thing about vacuum filtration is we can let it sit here for a few minutes as a way to help dry the crystals because uh, the solvent is going to be continuously removed here and then when I'm done again I'm going to break the vacuum then I'm going to turn off the vacuum source and now I want to see how many crystals I have <clears throat> uh, and so what we can do is we can use a spatula and we can lift off the entire piece of filter paper onto a watch glass oh the crystals actually came off of the filter paper which is good because that's what I wanted to do eventually is to uh, carefully scrape them off it's a little easier to do once the filter paper is dry and now we have our crystals we're ready to let them air dry and then we can take a melting point on them or some other analysis we can weigh them if we have teared the watch glass if you know how much the watch glass weighs we, we can uh, weigh them directly on the watch glass what you want to be careful though is don't tr make the mistake of tearing your filter paper and assuming you can cancel that back out because your filter paper is always going to be holding some of that solvent in there and it's never going to weigh the same as it did initially so we don't want to weigh the filter paper we just want to weigh the pure crystals and look they're nice and shiny large crystals it looks like our recrystallization is pretty successful